You know what I hate? I hate moving videos around. But uh, people have been commenting, Meta Zoo, Meta Zoo, Meta Zoo. Um, as you probably have guessed, and because I've mentioned it many times, and I have a channel dedicated to law that I'm a lawyer. Now, what you didn't know is I went to a top 30 law school at the time. I don't know where it's ranked right now. I think it was ranked 27 when I went there. And my first internship in the legal field was with a bankruptcy law firm in Williamsburg, Virginia. And they were going through the bankruptcy in the very first real legal case. There was real individuals involved was a bankruptcy case involving an elderly couple who were uh, purchased a print shop and then the print shop lost a lot of business. Uh, the previous owner had stolen a lot of their business to create a new print shop and they had to do bankruptcy. So I'm very familiar with bankruptcy proceedings. I have actually learned about it as well in law school. Uh, hence my, you know, the reason my intern it was probably my second year of law school. So two L year, law school was three years. And I can tell you what bankruptcy is because a lot of you are misunderstanding what bankruptcy is. So Nick's Strength in Pokemon has done a really good example. Uh, he's done a very good uh, lay person, non-attorney example. Why, why there's so much distrust, but I can put this very simply. You don't bankrupt when you have money to pay people. You're bankrupt because you don't want to pay them. So typically when you bankrupt, let's say Mike Waddell, he bankrupts MetaZoo. He can't just create another company called MetaZoo 2.0. Any IP or assets like Mothman, the, the copyright, they're going to go to auction. And you can't just buy the auction yourself as Mike Waddell because, you know, again, you're not even illegally allowed to go buy it because you're in bankruptcy. Now, if you have like a different LLC, a different structure, maybe. But, I mean, God forbid they catch you doing that, right? Let me explain why this is so important. If the idea is to go to bankruptcy, there will be a new leadership. The old leadership that is bankrupting the company will not get a hold of the new company should there be a new company. Now, if Alpha Investment wants it, it's his for pennies on the dollar. Because it will go to auction, um, even though I make fun of its IP, it does have IP called MetaZoo, right? That's the name. So that name will go to auction, the characters, the, the licensing, whatever else they deals they have with Sanrio and so on, um, will go to auction to see if it's valuable. And that money will be, they will sell the nails on the floorboard if they believe it can make some people whole. Now, who is owed money? Who do we know that's owed money? The print. I believe the print shop may be owed money. I know the player. Players are owed money. And I know that the the customers, the people pre-ordering native kits are owed money. Not everyone could get a refund. Uh, according to Alpha Investments, he is owed artwork for various other promos that were never released. That's why he was so desperate to get in touch with Mike Waddell because he wanted to sell his patrons more promos of himself and more playmats, I assume. So he was desperately trying to figure out what is happening. The artists are gone. You know, what, where they're, they supposedly, in his own video, which is now deleted, supposedly there was this, um, a lot of commissioned paintings of himself uh, by the artist, uh, I forget his name, Poncho. Yeah, Poncho who had already done these, and he just wanted to get a hold of the promos because he could print them himself, just like the crown eater, right? So if you're Alpha Investment, you're out of these promos that you were promised. The fact that these guys are cheering for bankruptcy, I don't un think they understand what bankruptcy is. Bankruptcy is not the old team bankrupts, then starts the exact same business with the same name again. Th that's not what's going to happen here. I, maybe Mike has lawyers that can tell him this, but the idea is you bankrupt the company. You, you need, you owe all these people money. Now, if you can pay all these people, you don't need bankruptcy to begin with. You only do bankruptcy when you cannot pay people and these debtors, they're not going to get a hundred dollar, a hundred cents on the dollar. They're going to get pennies on the dollar, on the dollar, on the dollar. Okay. 
Um, think about FTX, think about Bernie Madoff. A lot of money has already been spent. It's already gone. It's never going to be recovered. So, I mean, can Bernie Madoff buy his old company back? No. No, hell no, man. Can uh, Sam Bakeman free buy FTX back? No, they're not going to let him bid on it. There are assets in FTX that are quite valuable, especially its stash of Bitcoins that tripled in price, right? But Sam can't just be like, oh man, you know, look at that. No, he's still in jail. So bankruptcy is not something that people should be proud of and not something people should be rooting for. If I were a MetaZoo fan, I would hope for two scenarios. I would hope that A, we bankrupt and somebody like Alpha Investment buys it. I, I say this in Ernst, that he is the only person who can buy it. He's the only person I think that has the interest level. He already has, quote, a million dollars of inventory. He's already got Poncho promo, so he can buy the license. He can buy IB. It's, it's so much more valuable to Alpha Investment, especially to control his own face. Like, his face is plastered everywhere but he doesn't have the licensing on it. His, his name, Rudy, 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 it's everywhere. But he doesn't have control of the IP yet, right? The, the IP, the copyright, the artwork for his thing. I mean, it, it's a disaster right now what's happening long term for his business, which is all about investment and investment on cardboard. He needs to buy this company. I, I will make a very, um, I'll make another video about why he should buy the company from his standpoint and why I think he's the only one who can. Um, Rudy buys the company, maybe not even in bankruptcy, in goodwill. He buys the company, he pays everyone out of the money that he's made from MetaZoo. Right? He's got to be one of the biggest uh, net positive individuals in MetaZoo at this moment in time. Maybe Steve Aoki is another one, but who knows how, where he is. And he buys MetaZoo, he pays the players $50,000, boom, they're done, they're made whole. I deliver all the native, they're whole. I, I go down the list and I make sure that they're whole. And then I, pro pro and then I print some more Rudy promos to make up for the money. I mean, these Ru Rudy promos go for hundreds, hundreds of dollars. Now I have the artwork that was promised to me and they withheld it to me. That's why I was angry at Mike Waddell. He wouldn't respond to my phone calls. And now I can just print those cards that are already being, the art has already been done by Poncho, and I just print them, and I sell them for $100 each, and that makes $100 is a native kit. Boom. That, that's where the money's coming from. I pay the printer, I pay Sanrio, whatever other licenses I have outside. There's one dude who can make it work and avoid bankruptcy, but if he wants to buy during bankruptcy for pennies and a dollar and, and the vendors don't get paid, that's something I can imagine he has the tenacity to do as well. Bankruptcy, guys, isn't a positive thing. And the people who bankrupt, Shaw, Mike Waddell, they're not going to let the same people run the second company, guys. If MetaZoo comes from its ashes, everyone's thinking Mike Waddell is going to run it again. That is not the purpose of bankruptcy. Bankruptcy does not give a damn about MetaZoo. They care about making the people who it owes money whole. That's vendors, that's artists, Maybe artists might be owed money, that's players, I know players are owed money, that's customers who pre-order their own money. Like, bankruptcy is not a game for a lot of people. You were a vendor, I mean, imagine you're a vendor, you did work for them, you're an artist, you're a print shop, you're, you're whatever you are, and you send them an invoice and they haven't paid it for a year. That could destroy your small business, right? Bankruptcy is not something that people should be trying to celebrate. It is the worst of all cases. It basically means that you effed over a bunch of small businesses and people. Take it from somebody who uh, who ha has seen this happen before. Where essentially all these people, all these employees, all these 1099s, all these contractors, all these people didn't get paid. And you think that they're going to let you run the same company again to do the same thing over and over again? I mean, what, what, what's the logic of that, right? So you buy your Lamborghinis and your Ferraris and you do this over and over again? Come on, guys.